Hello, and uh, welcome back. I'm Bill Price, a.k.a. the Harmonica Doctor. And I have something that I wanted to uh, play for you today to demonstrate the versatility in the uh, minor harmonicas. And uh, so I thought I'd dress appropriately. Uh, and no, it's not the Marine Corps hymn. I'll play that for you sometime, though. Be happy to. Okay, so uh, when Johnny comes marching home, and uh, I think everybody who was in the military, uh, at least during the time of war, can identify with that song. And uh, we came marching home in the 60s, when, uh, right after that conflict, that uh, Southeast Asia conflict. Remember that? It was a, remember that conflict we were in, you guys? Uh, yeah, back there in the 60s. and you know, early part of the 70s, uh, there was a conflict. I think the conflict was that we had some sort of issue with communism back then. I, you know, glad <laughs> we've resolved all that, you know. Um, right. So anyway, uh, we're back. We're all back. And uh, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a deep subject. So we're going to move on into the world of harmonicas and we're, we're going to move on into the uh, the major keys and what are we going to do there uh, we're going to express some more versatility because that's what this uh, um, invention uh, is all about it's about uh, you know bringing versatility into the uh, diatonic harmonica uh, this Little diatonic harmonica, right here. All right, these are just two of this. That's all they are. Same thing. So anybody who owns uh, three or four diatonic harmonicas can do this without spending a dime. So I'm not selling anything. <laughs> you know what's the guy selling? Nothing. If you've got, if you, well, unless you don't have harmonicas, then you'd have to go out and you'd have to purchase one a whole step apart from the other one. So if you had a B-flat, you'd have to go get a C. The formula for that is on my website, uh, harmonicareinvented.com. Go there, and I've got it on my technique page. It's a very simple formula. And, uh, you know, so we won't devote any more time to that. But uh, this is something that anybody can do, anyone. Thank <laughs> you. 
you can do that now because you have uh, what I call a, a toolbox full of notes. And it is a toolbox compared to this tool kit that, uh, you know, diatonic harmonica players play on. They, they, they bring this in and you have to kind of think of this as like a, something that gets you out of tough spots in the case of emergencies. You know, I mean, you only have uh, three octaves here. You only have one complete diatonic scale. You have a, a truncated scale of five notes in the low octave. So, I mean, how versatile are you really going to be? And then this top scale is also missing a note. When you think of music, you think of the chromatic scale, and it has 12 notes. This is called the diatonic harmonica because it has the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do scale. That's only seven notes. And then you don't even have seven note scales across the octaves here. So, of course, you're not going to hear this instrument in... Uh, many places, uh, I mean, you're going to hear it in places where its limitations aren't conspicuous, like the blues. Um, I love the blues. As a matter of fact, that's what attracted me to this instrument. So if you think I'm ragging on the blues, I'm not. I love it. But the thing that I was disappointed in when I got going with this diatonic harmonica was that I couldn't go all kinds of places. I couldn't play just simple songs that I loved so much when I was a kid growing up. I couldn't get the melodies. In the low octave, where the notes are the 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 most, uh, where they're baritone type notes, they're um, very rich in their sound, and uh, I couldn't play all kinds of stuff down here. You know, it, it frustrated me. Anyway, so back in 1985, I made a little discovery about the uh, nature of these instruments and the relationships of one diatonic harmonica to the other. And then I quit playing for, uh, you know, almost three decades. And when I came back, the first thing that hit me in the face was the limitations, and I wanted to find a remedy. And so about six years ago, I researched that thing that I discovered in 85 and found out that, man, you can just go through the roof with versatility if you do the right thing. So if you want to visit my website at uh, harmonicareinvented.com, uh, I would encourage you to do that and uh, explore the things that I have on that page. I've written several articles. There's a trove of information. I have uh, diagrams for uh, various things on my technique page. And I give you the um, a formula for putting these together. It costs you nothing to do. And... Uh, uh, become a versatile diatonic harmonica musician and then you can join my club. It's called the uh, Versatile Diatonic Harmonica Musicians Club and right now um, we don't have many members. Uh, I might be the only member right now, I don't know. But uh, I would really like to see the diatonic harmonica come into the rest of the music world and we get to enjoy the very most uh, the, the most vocal sounding instrument in the world, the diatonic harmonica. It mimics the voice better than anything I've ever heard. So we're going to get to hear it in so many other places where it's not heard. And so uh, leave me a comment on my uh, page, one of my uh, pages on my website, if you want to communicate with me that way. Or you can uh, email me at harmonicadoctor at uh, gmail.com. And um, you can get in touch with me that way, and I plan on uh, making some Skype lessons available in the future. And so if you are interested in signing up for that, then you can do that as well. Just let me know, and uh, we'll get that moving along. All right, well, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, until the next time, we'll, uh, we'll talk then. All right, thanks again. Bye.